Hey everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to talk about breaking witchcraft curses and so today we're going to focus on breaking blocks and walls that uh, they have on your finances. So I'm going to pray at the end of this video to remove those so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just going to share a little bit of tips. How do we break these witchcraft curses? The first thing is that, you know, um, they get their power. They access the spiritual realm, which is a demonic realm. So they're getting their power from these evil spirits from that realm. Okay? And um, this type of power is a spiritual type of power. And it's a pretty high power. Um, the only type of the only way you can actually get this type of power, these curses off of you, is that uh, a higher power, some you know, someone with a higher power has to be able to get it off. And the only power that is higher than the power in the demonic realm and the spiritual realm that they get their power from is the power of God, uh, the creator of all things. Everything you see in this world, he created it. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he actually... Um, you know, we can actually have a relationship with him. He sent his son. His son's name is Jesus, if you don't know these things. But we can actually have a relationship with him. And when you have a relationship with him, when you have a covenant with him, he gives us, you, access to authority. He gives you access to be able to command demonic spirits to leave you. You can get things off of you. You can get curses off of you. You know, um, you know because of this relationship so his power is the only way you can get this stuff off so if you don't actually have a relationship with him if you don't know who he is um, you have to actually get this relationship with him because he is the one that gives you this power his power is higher than their power okay and you need a higher power um, than theirs to get this stuff off of you so I'm gonna link a video here that if you don't know um, the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob if you haven't uh, entered into a relationship with him through his son Jesus I'm gonna link a video here that you can actually do that first because you have to do that first if you don't do that first uh, the prayer one I'm gonna do is not gonna work because um, you're not gonna have access to that uh, power that's higher than their power okay okay so what I've been talking about in the other videos is that the spiritual realm is way more powerful than the natural realm. So the occult members, the witches, and the warlocks, they access the spiritual realm. They do things there in that realm to make it manifest in the natural realm. Everything has to be done in the spiritual realm first for the manifest in the natural realm. Our words are spiritual and your thoughts are spiritual. You can create things with your thoughts. You can create things with your words, just speaking. You can create things. Everything that you see that's going on in this world was created from words and thoughts, okay? So the spiritual realm is first. The natural realm is second. Uh, things have to be uh, done in the spiritual realm before it's made manifest in the natural realm. Our God, the creator of all things, he spoke everything that you see. He spoke it with his words and it was created. It was made natural. So it came from the spiritual words and was spoken and made and was made natural. Okay. So the occult members and witches and warlocks, they know this type of stuff about the spiritual realm. So they go to the spiritual realm and they do things in that realm to curse us, to hurt us, you know, all of this stuff. They do it in that realm and it is made manifest in our bodies. If it's a curse on our bodies, all of a sudden we're sick. We have headaches. You know, we're struggling. We have um, all of this stuff going on in our bodies. If it's finances, all of a sudden our finances are dried up. You know, things stop. Whatever it is, they are doing these things to us in that realm. And another way that they attack us, they send demonic spirits to attack us, okay? The thing about Christians is that we have authority over the demonic spirits. When they send the demonic spirits to attack us, you know, we can command them to leave. Um, we can break, you know, the attacks and stuff. We can get that stuff off of us. But the thing about it is that we as Christians, we don't have authority over humans. Um, only God God has to be the one to take care of the humans, okay? So they're attacking you, attacking you, attacking you. He has to be the one to take care of them. If they're not actually using demonic spirits to attack you and they're using curses or other things, they got your finances buried somewhere, you know, God is the one that's going to go get that stuff for you, you know, because it's in the demonic realm. He's going to go there and he's going to get it for you and remove it. So that's what we're going to pray today. I'm going to pray and ask the Lord to go in the demonic realm. 
um, you know, and I'm going to ask him to remove uh, the blocks, uh, the blocks, the walls that are on your finances that are hindering your finances from flowing freely in your life, okay? So uh, before we get started in the prayer, get focused on the Lord, get relaxed. Uh, if you want to worship a little bit, just focus on Him. Focus on how good He is. Just give Him 100% your attention right now because He is going to be the one that's going to be ministering to you. He's going to be the one getting everything taken care of. So make sure He has your 100% attention and then push play on this video. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless your holy name, Father. We invite you in. Heavenly Father, we invite you in. Lord Jesus, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. We ask that you come and minister to your people. Father, bless your holy name, Father. Father, I ask that you remove all the blocks that is on your people's finances, Father, on their money. Father, um, everything that's flowing in, that's flowing in, Heavenly Father, I ask that you remove all the blocks, all the walls that's hindering that flow. Father, I ask that you remove them in Jesus' name, Father. I ask that you release fire from heaven and destroy every single wall, every single wall that's hindering their finances. Attacks from the enemy, Father. I ask that you release fire and destroy those walls. Uh, witchcraft curses, Father. I ask that you release fire and destroy those walls. Heavenly Father, occult curses, occult attacks. Heavenly Father, I ask that you release fire and destroy those walls. In Jesus' name, Lord, every wall, every block on their finances, Lord, I ask that you rain down fire in the name of Jesus Christ and destroy every single wall and block in Jesus' name. Okay, you guys, so um, in my next video, I am going to, um, let's see, we're going to break some things in my next video. I think I'm going to do some contracts, um, contracts uh, that uh, people have made with uh, uh, witches or warlocks or court cult members, okay? We're going to break those contracts in my next video. God bless.